Good afternoon once again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to ASR Season 3 Monaco. And for the second time this season, we are not on pole. This time, lining up second. But the pole set a pure axle with some lag on the formation lap. Let's hope that doesn't affect either of us during this race. Now the lights are... out. And it looks like Pure got a great start. Or no it doesn't, maybe it was lag. We actually have the ascendancy around the outside at St. Devot and into the lead. Great start. Not so great for the other McLaren. Caution, caution. The virtual safety car is out. And that's a virtual safety car. VSC ending, we're going green. Maintain positive delta until the green flags. A drive through? You're kidding me. That must have been so close on the delta. We'll have to look at that in the replay. Well, we tried to extend the gap, we knew we had to serve a drive-through. We waited until the last possible moment to serve it, so we could get as far ahead of some of the guys at the back as possible to minimise the number of overtakes we had to make. Some cars actually pitting this lap with damage, you can see behind on the mini-map. We're falling back fast. Roughly P6 or P7, probably P7, there's another car coming. Yeah, Sparky Raven gets through. So P7, well, lap 5, the comeback starts. And at Raskas we get a great run, some damage to the right front end plate of the Force India. Perhaps an ill-advised move here. I'll let him back through for that. <laughs> that wasn't great. In fact, he screws up Sam Devot himself, and we get straight through. D Bros, it seemed, was content to just let me by, realising the pace advantage I had. Didn't want to get involved in anything, fair enough. And my teammate, Crook, seemed to have damage, and as soon as I caught him, went straight into the pits. So that worked out really well. And with the pit cycles, I would actually move up to P1, being the last person to take my mandatory pit stop. Unfortunately, right behind me was the net race leader, who all he had to do was just sit behind me and wait for me to pit, and would go on to win the race. Oh, there's a bit of a Williams calamity going on here. But where's, where's Pure? He's crashed! Unbelievable luck. I hope that wasn't me. Potentially lag, but net race leader is out. Stuart McKenzie's now the leader, he's just gone through, you can see him right in front of me. So race on. Some lap traffic now to deal with, Charitard of course coming off that podium last race. And there is the McLaren, oh the wheels off, no way. Oh illegal overtake? Okay, you need to give that position back, that was an illegal overtake. Well this is a bit of a mess, oh, I was so lucky not to lose a piece of my wing there. But Charitard, great job both times getting out of the way, it's unfortunate the game gave me that illegal overtake. But now I'm setting fastest laps on the way to try and catch Stuart McKenzie. But chipped a bit of our wing in pursuit of the leading Mercedes driver. But then he did the same thing. You could see the pieces flying off at the exit of St. Devot. Race now, really on. Ten laps to go roughly. Could I get past the Mercedes driver and make it five from six? Or would he win his first race of the season? I'm trying to Mirabeau. Nowhere to go. Great defensive driving. So I'll have to wait for my next opportunity. And it's not going to be here, the hairpin. Wouldn't dare trying to go too wide through there. Unfortunately for Stewart, he got very sideways. Great to catch it, but did lose out on the lead because he makes his own mistake and we get past with the DRS without really having to force anything. Unfortunately for Stewart, he went in for ultras to try and get the fastest lap, but crashed. It wasn't the last lap though, and I had lapped fourth place, so he would remain on the podium. But Crook would move up to P2, my teammate Toro Rosso 1 2. Fantastic effort for the team, especially given the penalty we had, the damage he had. 43 points, the absolute maximum you can get. I'm delighted with that one. Monaco, always a great one to win. Oh, look at the penalties. Gee, I'm the only one without one. Anyway, next challenge will be Canada. I've been Calm Sea Goat Joker. See you then.